Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine. Um, what I do on a daily and nightly basis. Um, not everything in, the, in this video is what I do every night. And I'll explain what I mean by that and, um, and later on in the video. But you'll see the products that I'm using. I'll tell you whether I like them or not. Um, what I've been using on a regular basis. Some of them are things that I've been using since my last video, or possibly not, I'm not sure, um, but I'll tell you what I'm using and you can kind of judge by there whether you would want to purchase it for yourself or not. Um, doesn't matter to me one way or another, but this is just what's been working for me and my skin. Okay, so I have actually already cleansed my face um, and what I'm using is actually from Bare Minerals. Um, Bare Minerals has a gentle deep cleansing foam, it's called Pure Blush. Um, it's really nice, uh, just cleans everything how I want to, how I want it to. Um, generally at night before I take a shower or like every time I take a shower, um, I usually clean my face in the shower. The reason being is because your skin is already, you know, steamed from the hot, from the hot stuff and everything from the hot steam from the shower. Unless if you take cold showers, why? I don't know why, but, um. I use this guy here, but I absolutely love this. Um, probably one of my favorite things that I have currently in my skincare routine, just because it kind of like foams and it kind of, not exfoliates your skin, but just kind of like lightly um, removes everything. You don't have to, obviously you want to wake, wipe off your makeup, but what you have left, the residual, it just kind of cleans everything off, off nice and neat and everything, and it looks really good. But the next product is something I like and is new. Okay, so the next product is uh, exfoliating pads or exfoliating toner pads. And they're from Causar X. They're, they're exfoliating pads. They kind of look like this. It has this little person here on it. Um, and these have been working a lot better than the first Aid Beauty ones that I was using a long time ago. Um, and they're like $20 for 70 pads. Whereas if you spend $20 in First Aid Beauty, you only get, I think, like 30 pads. So you're getting almost double, almost triple the amount. So you're getting a really good value for the price that you're paying. Um, so for only $10 less, you get double of the product. So which is a really good thing for me. Um, and I'll show you how I do that in the next clip. Okay, so after I've exfoliated my skin with the pads and everything, I generally take off all of that, um, just so it takes off what left, what makeup I have left if the cleanser didn't get any off and it works really well. Um, and then I use actually this Elemis uh, Papaya Enzyme Peel, um, and it's an enzymatic cream exfoliator. Um, it just kind of helps purified, tired skin, um, not abrasive, um, pineapple extract, gently work to refine and smooth skin, which is exactly what I love. And it also has, let's see, vitamin E's and B3 in there as well to kind of help rejuvenate your skin, so it's really good. Um, I don't do this every night or every day. I do this like twice a week because it's an exfoliating mask, so I don't want to do it too much, but generally like how you would normally do an exfoliator is the same thing that you would do with that one. Okay, and the next product I'm using is the Mario Badescu. It's the herbal hydrating serum. It comes in this small bottle and it's blue, um, and then it just really works for all skin types. Um, at least that's what it says in the packaging. It's been working really well for me, um, and I put this on before any of my other serums or my moisturizer, and then that's fine. And the next item that I use is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Pair, uh, Night Pair 
serum. Um, and it comes in a little drop it like this. And it's for all skin types, lean, and it says apply on clean skin and before your moisturizer, which is exactly the step that I have. Okay, so the next step in my skincare routine is always, always moisturizer because you always have to have moisture in your skin, whether you're dry, oily, or no matter what your age is, anything like that. Um, the two moisturizers that I use is one is from Estee Lauder and it is the Daywear Matte. It's for oily or oil control. Um, works really well, actually. Um, it says you can, um, you know, use it in the in the morning or at night, but I generally just wear it during, you know, if I'm doing it in the morning, and then at night I use a different moisturizer, which is the High Potency Nitamins from Origins, and this is a resurfacing cream with fruit-derived AHAs, and apply nightly to face and neck because yes your neck is a part of your skincare routine whether you like to admit it or not it is so um since it's daytime right now i will use my estee lauder daywear and then i will show you how i apply that Okay, and last but not least is um, my um, lip care routine, or lack thereof. Um, I don't really exfoliate my lips because I already um, don't really have dry lips because I always take care of them throughout the day. I'm always either, you know, gently exfoliating. If I do, I use the lip scrub from Jeffree Star and that exfoliates it enough. Um, that's just a general exfoliator. But what I use to hydrate my lips and make it, you know, not dry, um, is the Milk Kush Lip Balm from Milk Cosmetics. And then I just kind of put it on like this. And then that part's done. So my skincare routine's done. I always set my makeup with setting spray and always a hydrating setting spray. So not Urban Decay All Nighter because that has alcohol in it. So for me, after adding all this moisturizer, why would I dry it out? So what I use is the new MAC Thick Plus, the cucumber scent, and I just spray my face and set it and I'm ready to go. And there you go, your skincare routine is done. Um, if you guys have any questions as to why I use these items or anything like that, um, please feel free to either inbox me on here or comment in the video or even on Instagram, um, which my new uh, Instagram name is Lukalele Styles. Um, and that name was given to me by one of my old coworkers, Stacy, who's now lo no longer working with us um, at the Alta. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever it is you want to do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.